Isabel by Guy Gavriel Kay is a captivating novel that seamlessly blends elements of historical fiction and fantasy to create a unique and engaging story. Set in modern-day France, the novel follows the journey of Ned Mariner, a young photographer who travels to Aix-en-Provence to take pictures of the ancient Roman ruins. However, Things take a supernatural turn when he meets Isabel, a mysterious girl who seems to be connected to the past in ways that he cannot understand. One of the most compelling aspects of Isabel is the way that Kay incorporates historical details and mythology into the story. Through his descriptions of the Roman ruins and the surrounding landscape, he creates a vivid sense of place that immerses the reader in the world of the novel. Additionally, the incorporation of ancient myths and legends adds depth and richness to the story, giving it a sense of history and weight. At the same time, Kay also uses the supernatural elements of the story to explore larger themes of identity and destiny. Throughout the novel, Ned is forced to confront the idea that his life may be intertwined with the past in ways that he cannot fully comprehend. As he becomes more involved with Isabel and the supernatural forces that surround her, he begins to question his own place in the world and his sense of self. This exploration of identity and destiny is a powerful theme that resonates throughout the novel, adding layers of complexity and depth to the story. One of the most intriguing aspects of Isabel is the way that Kay uses language and imagery to create a sense of mystery and ambiguity. Throughout the novel, there is a sense that there is more going on than what meets the eye, and Kay uses subtle hints and allusions to create a sense of tension and unease. This is especially evident in his descriptions of Isabel, who is often depicted in vague and enigmatic terms. By keeping the reader guessing about her true nature and motivations, Kay creates a sense of suspense that keeps the reader engaged and invested in the story. Despite its many strengths, Isabel is not without its flaws. One of the most significant issues with the novel is the pacing. While the story is engaging and well-written, it can sometimes feel slow and meandering, especially in the middle section of the book. This can make it difficult for readers to stay invested in the story, and may be a turnoff for some readers. Additionally, some readers may find the supernatural elements of the story to be too vague and ambiguous. While the ambiguity of the story is one of its strengths, it can also be frustrating for readers who are looking for a more concrete explanation of the supernatural events that take place. This may be a matter of personal preference, but it is worth noting for readers who are considering picking up the book. Overall, Isabel is a captivating and engaging novel that will appeal to readers who enjoy historical fiction and fantasy. With its rich sense of place, complex themes, and enigmatic characters, it is a book that will stay with readers long after they have finished reading. While it may not be for everyone, those who are willing to immerse themselves in the world of the novel will be rewarded with a unique and compelling reading experience.